What should women do who detest their imperial female bodies do? Suppose they wholeheartedly make, make offerings to images of Earth store bodhisattva such as paintings. The reason why I requested a drawing of Earth store bodhisattva here is that this helps women who do not wish to have a female body anymore. All images made of clay, stone, lacquer, brass, iron, and or other materials. If they continually make offerings day after day without fail of flowers, incense, food, drink, clothing, colored silks, banners, money, jewels, and other items, then when those good women finish their current female retributions throughout thousands of millions of ants, they will never again be born in worlds where there are women. What kind of a world is a world without women? It is the western land of ultimate bliss, much less be one, unless they choose to through the strength of their compassionate vows. In order to liberate beings, the only exception would be if they make the vow that I would be willing to be a woman to teach and transform living beings. Perhaps there are some among you who made vows of being a woman to save living beings. Also, as women now, you do not wish to be women, but you became women because of the power of some comp compassionate vows. One example of this is Buddha's mother, Lady Maya. She plays with uh, about the human realm in the Great Illusion Samadhi. She vowed that she would be the, ma the mother to every Buddha who is born in this world. Among the other thousand Buddhas, Shakyamuni Buddha is the fourth. Lady Maya is the mother of all 1,000 Buddhas. This is her vow. Another example is Kuan Yin Bodhisattva, who is originally neither man nor woman, but he knows that everybody likes beautiful women. So he appears as a beautiful woman to save living beings in the Saha world. All of you should emulate Kuan Yin Bodhisattva and save beings and not be converted by living beings. How do I mean? Saving living beings means making living beings live suffering and attain bliss, avoiding running into the sea of suffering and returned by the tides because you have no samadhi. Instead of living beings, you are involved in romance and infatuated with love. Also, Kuan Yin Bodhisattva appears as woman. She does not dwell on love. He wants to save living beings because he wants to save living beings out of the genuine wish to protect and rescue. She wanted to be a woman to save and liberate beings. Otherwise, based on the strength of their offerings to Earth Star Bodhisattva and the power of their meritorious virtues, they will not be born with female bodies for hundreds of thousands of ants. Sutra, moreover, universally expansive, some women may have imperfect features or be prone to sickness. Disliking those problems, they can sincerely gaze at and bow, bow to images of Earth Star Bodhisattva with sincere resolve for even just a few minutes, and consequently, throughout millions of future ends of rebirth, they will continually be endowed with full and perfect features. If those women whose features are currently imperfect do not dislike having female bodies, then throughout millions of billions of lives, they will always be born as women of royal lineage or will marry to, into royalty or will become daughters of prime ministers or women in prominent families or daughters of great elders. They will be of upright birth and full features. They will receive such blessings from having sincerely beheld and worshipped Earth Star Bodhisattva. Commentary Moreover, universally expansive, let me repeat, 
some women may have imperfect features or be prone to sickness. How come some women are really beautiful and some are really ugly? How come some are very healthy and some are often ill? Ten kinds of evil karma make people ugly and what are these ten types of evil karma? One, they get angry easily. They enjoy getting angry. One of the twenty afflictions. Most women get angry easily, so there are exceptions. Some get angry over a needle or a thread. Some especially love getting angry. So they enjoy being skeptical and resentful. She doubts everything and resents everyone for not doing her right. 3. They like to lie and delude people so that they do not know what to do. 4. They enjoy disturbing living beings. 5. They do not truly love and respect her parents. Some may, but most do not. 6. They are not respectful of places with such as worthy ones and good spirits, such as would be, for example, a house who cultivated the Buddha drama and certified to the fruition. 7. They, not all women, but some women, rob such as and worthy ones for the land access and property that they need. 8. They may extinguish the lies before the Buddhas in Buddhist stupas and temples. Very few women probably actually do this, but this is one action that leads to being ugly. 9. They slander and look down on ugly people, saying, Hey, that person is so ugly. They are condescending, so they end up being ugly themselves. They do not realize that there is a mirror in our inherent nature that reflects our condescension towards someone's ugly looks. We become even ugly than, more ugly than that person in another life. 10. They enjoy learning or evil conduct and improper behavior. The above 10 types of evil karma are the reasons for experiencing the retribution of ugliness. There are also 10 reasons for frequent illnesses. What are these 10 types? 1. They enjoy beating all beings or any being they see. This is the first cause of the retribution of many illnesses. 2. They encourage others to beat people or even dogs, cats or rats, encouraging others to beat children or any being will result in illnesses. 3. They praise the means if hurting living beings, which led to the retribution of their many illnesses. For what do you say? They are delighted when they see beating occur. It is fun for them to watch. They are happier with these than movies. 5. They are happy when they see sick people. Ha! Ah, excellent. They are sick. Not only they are not sympathetic, they are very happy when they see people sick. 6. They are unhappy when they see people recover from their illness. As a result, they experience the retribution by facing many illnesses in future lives. 7. They give medicine to sick persons, but what kind of medicine? They do not give medicine that cause that particular sickness. For instance, they give someone with a headache a cure for stomach aches. They even try to earn a good reputation saying, see, I gave them medicine, even though it is not a cure for the patient's illnesses. 8. They grow jealous at the sight of a patient being treated by a doctor. 9. They are happy to see sick individuals and wish that these people will always be tortured by illness. 10. They enjoy eating. Before they even digest their food, they eat more. They enjoy eating non-stop. Due to these 10 kinds of evil karma, they face the retribution of many illnesses. Ugliness and sicknesses result from these 20 kinds of evil karma. Without committing these 20 kinds of evil karma, they will not be ugly or sick. What should they do? Disliking those problems, 
they can sincerely gaze at and bow to images of a star bodhisattva with sincere resolve for even just a few minutes in a matter of a minute's time. And consequently, throughout millions of future ends of rebirth, they will continually be endowed with full and perfect features. What are full and perfect features? Eyes look like eyes, ears look like ears. You say, how can eyes not look like eyes? For instance, most people have longer looking eyes, but someone has square eyes. Most ordinary people's ears are long and look like shoe-shaped gold. But someone has ears like knives. Also, someone's nostrils are turned out. In terms of physiognomy, someone with upturned nostrils does not have much blessings. Do not be friends with people with eyes that are triangular shaped like apricots. You will not experience too many advantages being friends with them. A certain drama master, for example, openly sabotaged me after I helped him out a lot in Hong Kong. I do not blame him, but he later died of cancer. Before he passed away, he could not let go of his face and ask to sit in a crock pot like a drama master Tzu Hong cardboard. He said to open the crock, crock three years later, if the body is still intact, then paste gold, gold on it. However, before the next day, his head already sank. Someone told me that people with skills will sit upright no matter how long it has been since their death. His head lowered down the next day and he had wanted to earn reputation and asked his students to open up his crop pot three years later. His students never dared to because they know what this man with the upturned nostril is unreliable. Also, it is good for men to have large mouths, but not for women. This is a difference between men and women. We can tell then someone will enjoy good fortune by looking at their features. We can tell someone who succeeds in everything at a very at a young age, in their prime and in their old age. With knowledge that has existed in China, one can tell whether someone will be accomplished in the future by looking at him. Someone with full and perfect features is successful in everything. Abhishek Yubin, for example, has very fine features where he enjoys the best luck in his later years. You might notice how his features, be it eyes, nose or mouth, are very much symmetrical. His physiognomy is about blessings and virtue. He went astray though. Had he been a Buddhist, he would have been an incredible Dharma master. The retribution of full and perfect features come from bowing to the Buddhas, reciting the Buddha's name, or bowing to a certain Bodhisattva. If those ugly women whose features are currently imperfect do not dislike having female bodies, although they are ugly, they still enjoy being women. Then throughout millions of billions of lives, they will always be born as women of royal lineage. They may become daughters to national leaders. Furthermore, their features are perfect and beautiful from bowing to some image of earth star bodhisattva. Or they will marry to, into loyalty, such becoming queen or first lady, or will become daughters of prime ministers or high-ranking politicians, or women in prominent families, or daughters of great and affluent elders. They will be of upright birth and full featured. Just as I said earlier, it is imperfect when the eyes are very beautiful while the nose is not so nice. It is imperfect when the nose is beautiful but the eyes are not so nice. It is imperfect when both the eyes and nose are nice, but the ears are not so nice. They do not match. It is imperfect where one ear is bigger than the other, 
One ear is smaller than the other. The nose is on the side of the face, or the mouth is connected to the nose, so that you cannot tell the nose and the mouth apart. Perfect features means that the eyes, yeah, the eyes are nice, the ears are nice, the nose are nice, the nose is nice, the mouth is nice, and the face is nice too. They are really beautiful. Why? They receive such blessings from having sincerely beheld and worshipped Earth Star Bodhisattva. Sutra. Moreover, universally expansive, there may be good men or women who are able to play music, sing or chant praises, and make offerings of incense and flowers before images of the Bodhisattva. All who are able to exalt one or more others to do likewise. Now and in the future, such people will be surrounded day and night by hundreds of thousands of ghosts and spirits who will even prevent bad news from reaching their ears, much less allow them to be personally involved in any accidents. Commentary. Moreover, universally. Expansive Bodhisattva, let me repeat. There may be good men or women who are able to play music, sing or chant praises, and make offerings of incense and flowers before images of the Bodhisattva Earth Star, or who are able to exhort one or more others to do likewise. They transform themselves and others, they save themselves and others. Now in the future, Such people will be surrounded day and night by hundreds of thousands of ghosts and spirits who will protect them and even prevent bad news, inauspicious sounds and awful things from reaching their ears, much less allow them to be personally involved in any accidents, such as car accidents, drownings, fires, plane crashes, train derailments, bus driving into the cliff, They do not experience those problems because many Dhamma protecting good spirits protect them all the time. Yesterday, someone said that he was scared of taking a flight for fear that the plane will crash. Do not be scared as long as you recite the Great Compassion Mantra and the Suragama Mantra. Then many gods, dragons, Dhamma protecting good spirits of the Eightfold but then all support you. As long as you do not have false thoughts and constantly believe in the Bodhisattva, he will protect you. Buddhists need not be afraid. Do not be afraid of ghosts because they will bow to you due to your merit and virtue. If you have none because you do not know about doing good deeds, then bad things will occur. Maintain good intentions and do good deeds, then none of the bad things will happen. Sutra Moreover, universally expansive in the future, evil people, evil spirits, or evil ghosts may see good men or women taking refuge with, respectfully making offerings to, praising, beholding, and bowing to images of Earth Star Bodhisattva. Those beings may make the mistake of ridiculing such acts of worship, saying that they are of no merit. They may sneer at those good people, condemn them behind their backs, or as a group, or even alone, as one person, have even as little as one thought of condemnation. Such beings will fall into the ABC hell, and the extreme misery they will undergo as retribution for their splendor will not end, even after the thousand Buddhas of the worthy end have passed into tranquility. Only after that end will they be reborn among the hungry ghosts, where they will spend a thousand more ends before being reborn as animals. Only after another thousand ends will they obtain human bodies, but they will be poor and lonely with incomplete faculties, and their evil karma will cause them to suffer mental afflictions. Before long, they will fall into the evil paths again. 
commentary. Moreover, again, the Buddha talked to Bodhisattva universally expansive. In the future, evil people who commit the five rebellious acts and the ten evils, and evil spirits who are devil spirits, because they do not observe the rules, criticize good men and good women. Some devil spirits also go to temples, such as temples where offerings are made to Lord Kuan. Lord Kuan is not always there. On the occasions when Lord Kuan is absent, he goes to the temple pretending to be Lord Kuan to enjoy bloody flesh. People may offer him swan, lamb, or cow, all of which are food with blood that he enjoys. There are big evil ghosts such as Kumbanda ghosts that look like a winter melon. These ghosts are also called ghosts that press on people while these people are still sleeping. These big evil ghosts make such sleeping individuals mute and immobile. There are also small evil ghosts who may possess plants to display their spiritual powers so that people will believe them. For example, Nan Hua Monastery had a comfort tree. Go and receive the precepts. Before it even received the precepts, it wielded its spiritual powers. For instance, anyone who goes there to light incense will receive a response such as recovery, some from some illness, or someone recovers. His lost items after lighting incense before this tree. There was a variety of others. That person thinks that this is true miracles from a bodhisattva, so he may go and show his appreciation with offerings of sacrificial, sacrificial chickens, pigs, or other animals. With these items, he has food to eat. These are small evil ghosts. There are innumerable things in this world. So if you do not understand the Buddha drama, you may very easily think that this type of evil spirits and evil ghosts are truly efficacious bodhisattvas. People who study the Buddha drama ought not to think that the Buddha drama is something to do with miracles. No, understanding the principles in the Buddha drama to avoid. Such deceptions, or evil people, evil spirits, or evil ghosts may see good men or women taking refuge with respectfully make offerings to praising, beholding, and bowing to images of earth star bodhisattva. Those beings may make the mistake of ridiculing such acts of worship, saying that they are of no merit. Evil people may then say, "Hey." You are too super superstitious. Superstitious. What is the use of bowing to clay or wooden images? Doing these things is completely without merit. Do not believe this stuff. They ask you, what the use of bowing to idol images? Some non-Buddhists, for example, believe there is no merit to bowing to pagan idols. They may sneer at those good people who are bowing. They sneer with their teeth, showing to show that they look down on all of you who are too superstitious, or they condemn them behind their backs. They do not say anything in front of your face, but after you leave, they say that group of people at Buddhist lecture hall is really superstitious. I do not know what they are doing. As to wear that robe and sash, bowing to the Buddhas, then getting up, getting up, then bowing. I do not know how it is meaningful for them to recite sutras and to bow to the Buddhas all day. They sabotage, slander, and criticize people behind their backs. Why should a cultivator bow to the Buddhas? How is bowing to the Buddhas useful? I might as well sleep with that tam. Or they get a group together or alone, as only one person have even as little as one thought of condemnation or tease. 
Perhaps they do not criticize others personally, but they abet others in avoiding sutra recitations. What is good about reciting sutras? Do not bow to the Buddhas or listen to the sutras. The time you spend on listening to the sutras might as well be spent on taking some drugs so that you feel like you are in the land of ultimate bliss. Why believe in that stuff? Encouraging others to be like him, he may find a companion who will defy the rules in a certain situation, or a Buddhist group because he knows that he will not be tolerated alone. With a companion, he seems to have some excuse. If you criticize him, then he will say, "Other people are this way too." With companions, his power grows. They do not have to be. Doing sabotage all the time, but just for one thought, tease and speak sarcastically, sarcastically to slander such individuals. Such beings who sneer or criticize others behind their backs, alone or with a group, will fall into the abyss of hell, and the extreme misery they will undergo as retribution for their slander. Will not end even after the thousand Buddhas of the worthy end have passed into tranquility. Our present end is the worthy end. How is this end worthy? Many sages and worthy individuals appear at this time, including one thousand Buddhas, among which Shakyamuni Buddha is the fourth. There are nine hundred ninety-six more Buddhas who will emerge. The time between one Buddha and the next is a long time, so the length of time during which one thousand Buddhas come into being is a long time to endure in the abyss of hell. The very serious retribution of having destroyed the Buddha Dharma. We should know that one day and one night in our world is sixty small ends in the abyss of hell. Fifty years in our human realm is one day and a night in the heaven of the four heavenly kings. One hundred years in the human realm is one day and a night in the Chajashimsha heaven. One day and a night in a human realm is sixty small ends in the abyssy hell. Why? Someone who is happy may feel that the day was very short and went by very quickly. When someone is very sad, that finds things to be very unpleasant, such as when you are waiting for someone or for some occurrence, then one will feel that the day is extremely long. From this, we know why one day and one night in the human realm is sixty small ants in the house. It is too miserable in the house. Why beings are suffering? They find the time to be too long. Why beings are enjoying themselves? They do not find the time to be long, at all. Only after that, one thousand Buddhas come into being during the worthy end, will these hell beings be reborn among the hungry ghosts, where they will spend a thousand more ends before. Being reborn as animals, only after another thousand ends of birth and death will they obtain human bodies. But they will be poor and lowly. America has this "give to the poor" movement. I criticize this because giving to the poor is useless. People's poverty is derived not in this lifetime, but comes because of karma from endless offenses in endless ends. Your help is only temporary and not constant. To really help the poor requires promoting, promoting various charity events, encouraging people to do good deeds, and encouraging others to change for the better and be good. This would be the way to really help the poor. Also, do not tell people to slander the triple jewel. Promote the Buddha Dharma everywhere you go, so that the triple jewel of the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha will abide in the world for people to plant blessings. People who make offerings to the triple jewel enjoy retributions of blessings, 
so that they will not be poor in the future. That is to truly help the poor. People who slander the triple jewel will be in the house for one thousand ems. After as long a time as one thousand Buddhas appearing in the worthy end, then among the hungry ghosts for one thousand ends, among the animals for one thousand ends, then become human beings. As human beings, they are extremely poor and low class, with incomplete faculties such as no eyes, ears, nose, tongue, hands, feet, body, and mind. What happens to someone without a tongue? They cannot talk without a tongue. People who have two eyes and they only have one eye, is this attractive? Perhaps they only have one ear. This makes their six sense organs incomplete, and their evil karma will cause them to suffer mental afflictions. In general, everything goes against their wishes. They are either without food, clothes. Or lodging. Otherwise, they encounter accidents such as the various accidents described earlier. Before long, they will fall into the evil paths again. Not long after being a human being, he falls into the three evil paths again. Bright eyes, mother, that we talked about earlier, for example, was born in her daughter's household, but then dies at the age of thirteen and falls into the evil paths.